today's video, we're going to be going over how to propagate a Christmas cactus both in water and in soil. I got my cactus in a bag just to keep it healthy as it was traveling, but when you do take cuttings from a Christmas cactus and you've pulled them off, you do want to lay them out to dry for a day or two so that they can callus over and have a smaller chance of getting root rot or fungal rot. Now you can see here, I have a variety of different cuttings, different sizes and shapes, and all of them should do well as long as they aren't mushy or have any rot. Now the recommended number of leaflets to include in a propagation is anywhere from one to four. So this one's a little too long. I'm gonna gently twist it and just pull it apart. And this is how you would be removing it from the original plant if that's the way you're going. And from there, these smaller pieces can then be propagated. So I'm just going through and making sure that there aren't too many little leaflets for each propagation cutting. Starting with propagating your Christmas cactus in soil, you don't need a whole lot of material, just a potting mix. You can see here I'm using a cactus palm and citrus potting mix. I'll include a link down below for those who are interested and you need a pot and your cuttings. I use this mix just because it has better drainage and this is a cactus, so I really do want that. Once you've filled up your pot, you can go ahead and either start placing your cuttings in, make sure the orientation is the right way. You don't wanna be putting them in upside down and if you don't want to do it this way that I'm doing it where you place it into the soil you can also just simply lay them on top of the soil until they form roots and then you would want to place them in like I'm doing right here you can put in as little or as many cuttings as you want I'm going on the heavy side and adding in a lot of cuttings if any of them don't make it I will remove them but be sure to give them a lot of water in the beginning so they aren't sitting in dry soil and that's really all you have to do to propagate the Christmas cactus in soil. So now let's switch over to propagating a Christmas cactus in water. So I have a little container here with arc light -like gravel, though you can use rocks or pebbles, anything that is similar. And again, I'll include links down to anything I use down below. I covered it in saran wrap simply to keep fungus gnats out. So you don't have to do this, but it was kind of helpful because it allowed a way for the cactuses to stay upright while they are being propagated. So I placed them in to the water, you just want the tips of them barely touching the water. And again, you can do as many or as little cuttings as you would like. Just make sure to do one to four leaflets. Don't go more than that because it won't propagate it quite as well. And from there, you just wanna make sure that either method are in a well-lit spot. So here are the results after just a few weeks. I'll show you in a second how it looked after a month and a half. But you can see after just a few weeks, there's a little bit of root growth, not too much. And then also there was root growth in between the leaflets. In this case, I was able just to split them apart and then put that new section that had the roots at the bottom down back into it so it could be more close to the water and continue that growth. And then after about a month and a half, you can see that there are new little leaflets coming in, which is oh so exciting. There's just little babies on the top. They were all over. Actually, the water did really well, the water propagation. So I think I would recommend this one more. You'll see in a second how well the soil did. But there's roots continuing to grow out between leaflets, which is fine. I'll just break them apart. But for now, I'm going to leave them, kind of see what happens. But I'm really happy with how the water propagation turned out. Now moving on to the results of the soil propagation. So you can see here there is root growth between the leaflets and this is just after a few weeks. Again I'll show you how it looked in a few months. Unfortunately the soil propagation did have a little bit of rot. This one is rotted on the bottom. In this case I'm going to split it apart. The rotted one will probably go in the trash and this new one that has roots between the leaflet I'm going to set back into the soil so it can continue to grow from here. The water propagation did not have as much trouble with rot like the soil did. And then after a few months, you can see here that there are a lot of new little leaflets at the top as well. There's root growth between leaves 
and not as many new leaflets coming through as the water, but still quite a few. I was pretty happy with how it did. The water definitely did better. And so if I did have to recommend one, I would definitely recommend trying water propagation for your Thanksgiving or Christmas cactus. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more houseplant content and how to keep your houseplants happy. Thank you.